Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C35 license, also known as the lathing and plastering contractor license, or sometimes just the plastering license. So what is a plastering contractor? A lathing and plastering contractor coats surfaces with a mixture of sand, gypsum plaster, quick lime or hydrated lime and water, or sand and cement and water or a combination of such other materials that create a permanent surface coating, including coatings for the purpose of soundproofing and fireproofing. And that description is straight from the CSLB website, and that's the Contractor State License Board. So the C35 license is required to contract for work associated with lathing and plastering, where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. How long does it take to get the C35 license? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. Now, the time of year, whether or not you have a criminal history or whether or not your application is put up for further review are all factors that can make it take longer than 90 days. But in some cases, I've seen it take less than 90 days. Um, you know, it all just kind of depends. Typically, you're looking at about a six to eight week application processing time and then generally another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. So what are the basic requirements for a contractor license? You've got to be at least 18 years old. You've got to have a valid driver's license or some form of USA ID. You've got to have either a social security number or ITIN number. And you can't currently be on probation or parole. So what are the experience requirements for the C35 license? You've got to have at least four, time, four years full-time journey level experience within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody who can sign off on that experience. And you've got to be able to submit documentation of your experience if the CSLB asks you to prove it. So who can sign off on that experience? So you could either use a general contractor. You could use a C35 plastering license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor. You could use a fellow journeyman or fellow employee at a company that you work at. Or in some cases, you could use a business associate. So now filling out the C35 license application. So whoever you choose to sign off is called your qualifying individual. And that person's also going to need to provide a brief but detailed description of your knowledge and your skill set. And the way this description is written will be critical to whether or not your application is accepted. So for example, Jim has created plaster walls. It's just not, it's not descriptive enough for the CSLB. They're going to want to see something that sounds more like Jim has done plaster and stucco installations and repairs, gypsum float coat finish, uh, framed around door openings, maintained and repaired equipment, and done pre lathe inspections. Now, don't use that word for word, but obviously you want to get, go into depth on what exactly you know how to do um, as, it, it, as, it, as it relates to lathing and plastering so that you're giving the CSLB a, 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 an idea of all your skills. So criminal history. Now, Everybody has to do live scan fingerprinting when they apply for a contractor license. So your best bet is just to be 100% honest on your application. Uh, even if it happened years ago, even if it happened when you were a minor, it, you don't think it was that serious, it got expunged, just be honest on your application, list it um, that way that if it does come up, at least you were honest about it. Um, typically, the CSLB is more concerned with charges associated with fraud, forgery, and embezzlement. Um, so, you know, generally, if they don't fall under those three categories, you should be fine. But you're going to want to be prepared to submit any court documents that the CSLB asks you to submit. So that's just a heads up. Now, what's on the contractor license exam? So there's going to be two parts. You're going to have uh, one portion that's 115 questions on contractor law. There's going to be another 115 questions covering just lathing and plastering. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice exam. And it's going to be done on site on a computer. And if you need to, you can bring a translator the day of the exam. So the C35 license exam is going to be 18% planning and estimation. 
It's going to be 20% preparation for lathe and plaster applications. It's going to be 42% plaster and stucco installation that, installations and repairs. And it's going to be 20% safety. Now, this is just a snapshot of what's on the C35 license exam. For a more in-depth look at the test, I suggest you check out our website. Um, we've got a full breakdown of everything you need to know about the C35 license. So after you pass your contractor license test, uh, you're going to get your results immediately. Again, the test is done on a computer, so you'll know whether you pass or fail right on the spot. Uh, you can retake the exam. Typically, you can do a retake within about th three weeks. I've seen some cases where you can do it sooner than that, but generally you're looking at about three weeks. Uh, you've got to pay what's called a license activation, and then you've got to provide a contractor bond number. And then generally you get your license in the mail in about two to three weeks. So what are the costs associated with the C35 license? You've got to pay a state application fee you've got to pay a license activation fee, and then you've got to pay a renewal fee every two years. You've got to pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and then you've got to have what's called a contractor bond, which has its own fee. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to see a, a video for contractor bonds, and then you're going to see a video for uh, the current most up-to-date fees uh, in California. So I suggest that you check out both of those videos um, as far as the contractor bond fee goes, that depends on a few different factors that are, are more than, than what should be covered for this video. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis and really depends on the individual, so I suggest that you check out that video. So in conclusion, you know, getting your C35 plastering license, it can be a very smooth process if you have the correct information, which you now have. Um, Filling out your application correctly is very, very important. That's a huge factor in whether and how long it'll take for your, your, you to get your, your contractor license. Now, obviously, you also want to pass the test the first time, but as long as you really hit these three points, um, you, know, you, you, you should be fine. So, you know, for any additional information, check out some of our other videos. If you found this video helpful, click the like button, subscribe to our channel. If there's a video that you want to see us make, drop it in the comments. Uh, again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.